Hello and welcome back. I really wanted to film something more relaxed today. So this video is going to be a few different parts. We're going to do a seasonal wardrobe switch over because the day I'm posting this is going to be 27 degrees Celsius. I'll put the conversion in Fahrenheit on screen. So spring is here. It's already warm. So I feel like I need to move some of those more winter appropriate items out of my closet. It'll also be, I suppose, in a way, semi closet tour. You'll get to have a little bit of a peek inside my wardrobe. And I also want to run through some of the key pieces that I foresee myself wearing for the seasons ahead especially as we hit that really really warm weather here so um, I think the first thing I'm going to do is start pulling out the more winter appropriate items from my wardrobe I'll bring you in so you can have a bit of a peek and then we'll talk about what I'm pulling out and why the organization hasn't really changed since my previous video and I've done a pretty good job of putting everything back in its place which I think is key for closet organization. I do definitely want to pull up some of my more summer appropriate bags from downstairs and also some of the lighter weight tops that I've got because I've just been feeling like I don't have enough options. Alright so I'm going to go in and pull some things out and we'll just talk about why. Okay. All of my coats no longer need to be in there because honestly, if I need a jacket, it'll be a trench or a lighter transitional weight jacket. Also these sweatshirts, I've not found myself reaching for them and I've got my wakey one in there, which has the Maltese pups on it. If I want to wear a sweatshirt, I'll reach for that one. Next thing I'm pulling out are some more of my winter weight skirts and also just things I'm not really wearing. So I've got things like this beautiful wool A-line skirt from Goelia that I love, but I just see myself reaching for more lighter weight wool, so things that are more of a tropical wool or cotton options as it heats up. Also things that are a little bit more fancy, I think I'll just put this downstairs and then we've got um, a jacket and some dresses that are more heavy weight. Okay, you can probably see I've made a bit more progress. I've pulled out the heavy knitwear, some jeans that I wasn't wearing. I want to talk quickly about handbags and how I'm sort of deciding what is going to make it into my sort of spring summer selection. So let me grab them. Okay, so these are three of the bags that I'm planning to pull out of my rotation and the key commonality here is the color and the color palette. So these are all quite dark, deep shades. They feel really moody and for that reason they're things that I associate with the colder months with autumn and winter. Okay, so pretty much everything that I've pulled out here is like a thicker wool fabrication, so they're just a little bit too heavy, and for that reason I've just found myself avoiding them completely. Oh, and I remembered we haven't done shoes either. Maybe we'll do those last. Let's go downstairs first. I feel like that's the fun part. Um, and I'll give you a little peek at what the closet's looking like right now too. So you can see there is a lot less on the big hanging rail. I've pretty much decimated my knitwear and denim collection. It's been reduced down to pretty much nothing. Uh, my tops haven't changed too much just because we've got a lot of lighter layering pieces here. And then my trousers have been kind of pared back quite a lot. I may do a little bit more refining as well as the season progresses. So I'm downstairs now and I'm really sorry for the echo because this room's actually quite empty at the moment. But I wanted to bring you down to my secondary storage space. So this is in my office uh, and for those of you who haven't realised all of the wardrobes in here, it does have a lot of my off-season things and just items that I'm kind of putting into hibernation for the season. I do have a couple of items here I'm going to take upstairs. So we've got this beautiful major label uh, split hem skirt and then also the skirt from Wynn Hamlin which was featured in my spring capsule wardrobe or transitional season wardrobe uh, edit over on my substack so i'm going to leave a link to that down in the description box below i think i put together 50 different variations or permutations with that capsule so a really good one if you want to get some ideas and spo and then i've also set aside this little bag here from Sabin, which i've been using already but uh, i just want to take it upstairs so it's with the rest of my spring summer pieces all right so i'm going to go through the wardrobe First part here, this is where all of my sort of tops are and also my jackets. I don't know I'm going to pull any jackets, but tops for sure. Okay, so here's a little look at how we're traveling so far. So you can see lots of neutrals, black, but then we've also got this fun pop of red. And I really love red as kind of one of my key colors to wear. So I've decided to incorporate that into my spring wardrobe. I also have this absolutely beautiful kind of red cardigan from La Saison Sportive so I'm really looking forward to sort of wearing that as well I mean I think it'd be quite cute laid over my um, Breton that I'm wearing right now or just for a monochrome moment we do love that then I also pulled out a few bags as well so this is the little saving bag I mentioned I do actually have a sample of the kind of new version that I've put out in the white 
braid, which is coming out in a few weeks time. Um, sadly, I found that they're not going to be re-releasing it in the white, at least not this year, uh, but it does come in a beautiful tote. Then we've got the new Cezanne cord bag they sent this to me, and it is really, really beautiful. I love that texture and how it's quite glossy and shiny. And then, of course, the Poland Numero um, Nano in the chalk. So those are the bags that I'm thinking of taking. Then I'm going to move over into dresses. You can see this is definitely where I like to have a little bit more fun with my closet. And I can't wait to wear this Wynn Hagelin dress again. It is a little bit revealing with this cutout detail, but I think maybe I could layer something underneath it to make it feel a little bit more appropriate day to day. Okay, so this is the rest of the edit here. So I've pulled out like the linen set that you've seen me feature in a recent video. This beautiful stack of a label denim dress, which would be lovely to wear today. I've got a little lemon mini dress, more mini dresses, mini dresses. My uh, favorite little t-shirt dress from Cezanne. And then we've also got some really nice little uh, short sleeved glasses, like this Power of My People linen shirt, which I'm very excited to wear, uh, as well as things like I bought out my dish set that I wore a lot last summer too. So that's kind of a peek at what's on the route. Oh my gosh, in this. So cute. Okay. Then let's look at the shoes. <laughs> Hi. So all my summer sandals that I'm not wearing live in here, and I tend to reach for these every day during spring summer. So thought we could go through, pick a few new pairs out. So I'm thinking these ones here. Probably these ones. They're really comfortable, and it's a light option. I also think probably these for a little bit of color too. I also have these beautiful uh, Tibby embellished sandals. I thought they would be fun to wear. And I really like a low mule. These ones are a few years old now from Mar and Mine. It looks like the brand's no longer around or at least no longer producing shoes, but I really love these and they're so comfy. The final thing I wanna do is just run through what I think are gonna be my core pieces for the season, and then I'll show you everything in situ in the wardrobe. So we're just gonna go off what is currently on this rack here because I feel like this is a pretty good representation. So the first thing being the matching set. So I've got a couple here. This one's from Auntie, this one here is from Posse. I'll try them on so you can see, but just really cute, simple, easy to wear. And I love things like this because you can obviously make them your own by styling them with anything else you have in your wardrobe. The other thing I've noticed a lot of is kind of the longer skirt. So whether it's a pencil skirt or a fuller A-line skirt. So we have this one here, which is actually from I buy this almost two years ago now? It's from Tibby. It's a full kind of circle skirt in a cotton poplin. This one is so beautiful and I really like the stone colour. Very easy to pair with brights if I want to do so. Um, then also for something that's a little bit longer, I have this one here which is from Dish, which is in linen and this is in an oatmeal shade. So again, very easy to pair with colour if I want. The final one that I thought I'd highlight is that one I shared earlier, the Wynn Hamlin pencil skirt so very fitted uh, straight cut and I really like that I just think it feels and reads very chic I'll probably wear it without the macrame tie um, or belt should I say I just think it looks and feels a little bit cleaner the next thing I'm really noticing is the short sleeved shirt so I've got two here on my rail one being from power of my people in this beautiful linen and then this one here being from dish again this is also part of a six it's got the matching trousers I just quite like the sort of tailored feel the way that it elevates your outfits and makes it feel a little bit more crisp. Kind of the next thing that I really noticed on the rail is the mini dress. So we've got two here. This one is from Auntie and it's got this really lovely texture to it. And then we've also got a super old one, which is from Karen Walker. I wore this out both of my pregnancies. I've got really, really lovely memories of wearing this. And I, I like that it adds in that vibrant pop of color and print to my closet, something that I don't tend to do too much of. Oh, and of course the linen trouser. I've got a few here which were favorites from last summer and I'm so excited to actually pull them out again this year. So first pair is from Facade Pattern and every time I would wear these I get questions on them. I think they sold out in the black but they still have them in a natural 
color and I really had to stop myself from ordering those but I definitely don't need any more and then the Everlane Way High linen pads are perfection these are such a great cut and I yeah I think if I was to just pick one cut in every color it would be these ones and this is a really nice kind of uh, murky green and then I also added in another pair the, these ones at the start of the year but it started to get a little bit cold these ones are from LPA and they're in a beautiful buttercup yellow which is kind of my happy color for shoes I feel like very simple just a nice flat sandal something that doesn't really have a heel for easy walking either want something that is quite kind of full coverage on the foot and that reads a little bit chunkier or else an option that is a little bit lighter and that has very kind of dainty straps. So it's either one or the other. All right, and I suppose the next thing is just to show you my refresh wardrobe. So let's go upstairs, I'll put everything away and then we can wrap things up. So it's actually a few hours later and what's ironic is that it is so dark and stormy looking outside despite it being really warm. I mean, I'm in denim shorts and sandals still, um, but I wanted to give you that progress update, just that final look in my wardrobe now that I have finished doing the switch over. So I forgot to share with you the process of me editing my shoe storage, but here's a look at it. Now that I have pulled out all of my winter pieces and loaded it up with lots of sandals and over here are the shoes that I actually removed that I'm going to pop downstairs away for next year. Okay so I'm going to bring you into the wardrobe now so you can get a sense of the overall scheme and color palette that I'm going to be working with for the spring summer season ahead. I will get behind the camera so I can give you a better sense of how I've updated my wardrobe, but I was just reflecting on kind of my core colors for the season. And what I picked up on is that my core colors seem to be white, kind of cream yellows, blue, pink, black, red, and then we've also got green in there as well and that's really going to be my focus for the season ahead so a really distinct color palette and lots of things that I think work really well together too. I didn't really update the jacket section so this has remained pretty much static. Then we have all of my tops and this is definitely where there's been a lot of a change. There are loads more sort of short sleeve tops in here now which are going to be a lot more comfortable when getting dressed day to day. And also down here with my trousers I've got more lightweight pants and also all of my linen pants in here too which is going to be lots of fun getting to wear again. My bag section has also had an update, sorry about the artificial lighting but lots more lighter colours and also those fun spring summer textures. There are less jeans. I'm going to pull out my denim shorts soon, but uh, they'll probably sit here. And then there's also a much more neat, compact pile of knitwear for when I do need to reach for something like that. I do also have some more fun options at the top of the closet. And then when we come to the long hanging section here, there are a lot more skirts, which is probably going to be one of the things I wear a lot over the spring summer months. And then also all of these really fun dresses and things too. So that's an overview of my wardrobe for the season ahead. Yeah, huge thank you for joining me on the seasonal closet switchover. I know this was a very kind of chilled, laid back approach to filming, so I hope you didn't mind. It sort of felt very conversational for me. And yeah, I will see you very soon with a brand new video. If you have any particular pieces that caught your eye that you'd like to see me style up a lot of different ways, then also let me know down in the comment section below. But thank you so much for watching. I'm always so grateful that you choose to click on one of my videos and spend some of your day with me. I will see you soon with a brand new one. Have a beautiful week ahead. Bye!